We've gotten a lot of questions about corn traits going into 2020. Yes, there are a few different things you want to take a look at, but the big question is, do you want to kill above ground pests or below ground pests? And then of course, are you going to have a Roundup trait or are you not? So we're going to talk about corn traits today. Let's talk about a premium trait to begin with. Let's look at smart stacks. We've got above ground protection, we've got below ground protection, we can spray Roundup, we can spray Liberty. Uh, you've got really the whole gamut and I think this product gets undersold. The reason why, it's got a high price point to it, so there's a lot to talk through and to think through. But giving yourself the option of using Liberty in the corn is a pretty nice thing too. Roundup's great for grass control, but to get some additional help on broadleaves, that's kind of nice having Liberty. Now when we look at the rootworm protection, this is really where most of the decision gets made. Do I need that rootworm protection or not? It's still working pretty good on rootworm, having the two different traits in there to stop them. But I get it, it comes at a pretty good price point. So if you're in a corn on corn situation, it's certainly got to be a consideration on your farm. Yeah, well you talk about this price point and you mentioned that multiple times there, Darren, but let's not forget, you're not spending what the bag costs per acre. That bag is gonna treat two and a half acres, maybe three acres, so you gotta divide that out. And what really is that price difference? Where I'm going with this is, net, you're probably gonna spend an extra 15 to $20 an acre. Well, what is insecticide cost for rootworm? The really good ones, the dry products, are going to be over $20 an acre. So that's really, in my opinion, about a wash. And the nice thing is you're going to get better control with the trait than you are any insecticide out there. The insecticides at best are 90%, maybe 95% control, but you can get about 99.9% .9 control on rootworms with the trait. I definitely saw some fields this year that I wish the farmer would have had smart stacks out there because we had a lot of rootworm pressure, a lot of rootworm beetles that you've seen even this fall out in the fields. Now, if you don't choose that, you probably have chosen something like VT Double Pro where you've got above ground insect protection, but it's not perfect. It's not good on all the earworms. You've got really good control on European corn borer though, which seems to be one of the key drivers in the market. We've seen the ability to spray Roundup be valuable in that trait and the corn borer protection. We've had pretty good plant health with VT Double Pros in most cases, and many farmers that feel like they have a low to moderate pressure of rootworms or they're in a multi-year rotation, so rootworm pressure is not heavy, have just chosen to put insecticide down at planting time and come back with VT Double Pro. Darren, I wanna talk about the Roundup trait in general, but before we do, let's go back to what other insect traits are out there on the market today? What new things are there? Well, there's a couple things. One would be the Viptera trait that does control those earworms that have been a real problem in parts of the country. Now stacking that Viptera up with VT Double Pro, we've got a new product on the market called Tricepta. It's the best above ground insect protection that I've seen. And so I see more acres of that going into 2020. Okay, we have a lot of farmers who have been talking to us about, should I just go back to conventional corn? I don't want the insect traits, and Roundup isn't giving me anything because I have all these Roundup resistant weeds. Look, you can certainly go conventional corn. We love conventional corn. Quite frankly, the only reason we switched away from conventional corn on our farm back 20 years ago is because all our neighbors around us were spraying Roundup and had Roundup ready corn, and then we had to worry about that drift going into our fields. But the big thing that I want to remind you of is Roundup still kills lots of weeds. It's fantastic on almost all grasses. And don't forget, prior to Roundup corn and Liberty corn coming out, grass was our number one weed problem in corn. It was our number two weed problem in corn. And it was our number three weed problem in corn. Grass is terrible for corn. You have to have great control. And even if you do a full rate of a straight grass killer pre, like a group 15, that a lot of times is not quite enough, especially in heavy pressure. It's nice having a ridiculously cheap post-emerge option. I love having Roundup for $3 to kill all the grass out in the field that happens to escape my pre. Yes, you can spray Accent, but that is five times as much money as Roundup. It's harder on the corn, and it is certainly not going to be as good on the grass. Well, we do have to remember what makes us money on the farm. It's harvesting grain, getting to sell that grain, and putting cash in the pocket. So just because you pick a smart stacks trait or a double pro trait or you go conventional, that doesn't mean you've got a great hybrid. You have to pick the right trait package and you have to pick the right genetics for your farm in order to get yield. Well, weed control is super important if you want great yield as well. So make sure you're controlling our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop it on your farm coming up later in the show.